when you watch the breath, you're the one who has to make sure that you're actually doing it. There's no one coming around to check on you. The mind has to be able to watch itself and direct itself, which is why it needs good examples. Otherwise, it can direct itself in all kinds of crazy ways. And this is why we have our ceremony of taking respect or taking refuge in the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Sangha. This is why we bow down to them every day. Because they set good examples for us. The Buddha's example is how to find a happiness that doesn't harm anybody, how to find a happiness that's true and lasting. That's a very special kind of happiness. It's very difficult to find in this world, but he was able to ferret out the way to do it by training his own mind. The Dharma is, of course, the qualities that he found really work in leading to that happiness. And then the Sangha are the people who follow the Buddha's teachings and find that they got the same results as well. So you want to keep those in mind as your examples. This is how true happiness is found. And their way of finding happiness is something of a challenge. It's not so, something where you just go down to a store and buy stuff. It's something where you have to sit down and straighten out your own mind. But you've got their example, and you've got the example that shows that it is possible. So what you have to do is take their qualities and bring them inside, and actually that's when their qualities become your refuge. Prior to that time, it's something outside. But as you start practicing along with it, you find that you develop the same qualities the Buddha had. You develop mindfulness, you develop alertness, wisdom, purity, compassion. These are all good things that you can depend on in your own mind. So whatever happens in terms of the world outside, you're not going to get swept away by the waves of hysteria that sometimes sweep through society. You're not going to get swept away by all the strange values that come through the media saying that material things are worthwhile, or that where you're going to find happiness, or that by gaining status is where you're going to find happiness, or getting lots of hits on your website, that kind of thing. That's not really, any, really happiness. The real happiness comes from knowing that you've got good qualities you can depend on inside, and the sense of well-being that comes from that. As you dig deeper and deeper inside and find that you can really rely on these qualities. When you reach the unconditioned, that's when you realize that the Buddha really did know what he's talking about, and you find that that is something that can't be shaken by anything in the world. So this is a happiness that's really special, which is why we bow down to the people who found the path, we bow, bow down to the people who've been following the path, just to remind ourselves that these are the kind of people we want to be as well, and that whatever effort is involved, it's an effort that we're glad to take. <laughs>